Evelyn Wong, a Chinese-American woman, and her husband, Waymond, own a struggling laundromat. The IRS is auditing the company, which has increased tensions on the eve of Chinese New Year. Waymond's attempts to serve her divorce papers go unnoticed as she sorts receipts on the dining room table before their IRS appointment. Her daughter, Joy, and her girlfriend, Becky, arrive, as Joy is supposed to help bridge any language barriers at the IRS meeting. Her father, Gong Gong, has also recently arrived from China and is living with them. Evelyn is still unable to accept her daughter's homosexuality and is hesitant to introduce Becky to Gong Gong. After he comes down the stairs into the laundromat while she is dealing with a customer, Evelyn introduces Becky as Joy's good friend, causing them to storm out. Evelyn tries to stop Joy but she would not listen. Joy is upset and sobs. Part 1. Everything. Evelyn and Wayman takes Gong Gong with them to the IRS office but gives him a different reason. Wayman notices an old couple kissing each other and tries to convince Evelyn to go on a holiday but she is not interested. Wayman's personality changes in the IRS building elevator when he is briefly taken over by a version of himself from the Alpha Universe. When Evelyn is connected to a headset, she sees a timeline of significant events in her life, including her father's disappointment at having a daughter, meeting Wayman, her family rejecting her for marrying him, purchasing the laundromat, and having Joy. Also Joy misbehaving with her as she grew up. Alpha Waymond explains that every decision creates a new parallel universe and that they may be in danger, and then he hands her a list of instructions written on the back of the divorce papers. Then he turned back to the state before, not remembering what happened. The Wangs are chastised by IRS inspector Deirdre Bobirdra for their stacks of receipts and tax-deducted items. Evelyn switches her shoes to the opposite feet, imagines herself in the janitor closet, and then presses the green button on her headset in accordance with Alpha Wayman's instructions. She is dragged backwards into the closet, where Alpha Wayman awaits to explain further that she is a significant woman in his universe who discovered verse jumping. However, before he can finish his explanation, Evil Deidre pulls him through the door and breaks his neck. Evelyn then sees Evil Deidre approaching her and getting hit with an iron rod in her face only to realize that it was not real to everyone's surprise. Back in the real world, Deirdre takes a moment and agrees to give them another chance to turn in their receipts by 6 p.m. Evelyn picks up subliminal messages through their normal course of conversation. As they are about to leave Evelyn sees Deidre walking towards her. Evelyn punches her in the face out of fear of another attack. Wayman calls her crazy as Evelyn complains she did what he asked her to do. He explains that he was talking about their divorce. Deidre calls the security guards. Alpha Waymond reappears and chews a candy which seemed to give him extra sensory perceptive powers and fights off the security guards, 